If you want a professional opinion, you probably would have to watch other videos. But if you want the opinion of someone just like you who purchased this gear and trying to figure out exactly what to do with it, this video is for you. Hi, today we'll be showing you how to operate the new Zhiyun Crane M2 together with the Sony RX100 Mark 5A. You can use this for the Sony RX100 Mark 1 series all the way to the Mark 7 series. It will be the same, uh, except for probably the Mark 6 and the 7 will be slightly heavier, but still it will balance uh, the same way as what you do with the Mark 5A. To start off, we'll be balancing the Mark 5A on the Crane M2. We'll be showing you how to do it in a few easy steps. So first you attach the given plate and the screw to the Sony Mark 5A. What we do is we'll, there are two slots here, the shorter slide and the longer slide. We'll choose the shorter slide to slot in for this Sony RX100. So just screw it in. Okay, so once you screw it in, Next, you have to release the lock on the Crane M2. The Crane M2 comes with a lock that makes sure your gimbal doesn't move around when it's, a, when, when it's in the back. So once you release the lock, so the screw, you can start your balancing process. Okay, first you attach the plate onto the Crane M2. There's a lock. Yeah, lock it up. Okay. The next thing you do, turn on the camera because this lens itself adds weight to the front of the camera. So in order to balance it properly, you need to turn on the camera to balance. You start on balancing by balancing the row, which is this red button over here. Okay, next you balance the tilt axis. Okay, point to the sky. It is this axis here that you need to balance. This is called the tilt axis. So you turn on the screw here. You need to make micro adjustments to make sure it's balanced. Okay. Okay, it's balanced on the tilt and on the front side. Okay, it's balanced. Okay. After you, ba you balance this tilt side, you need to balance this pin as well to make sure it's balanced properly. And uh, last but not least, you have to balance the pan axis as well. So the balancing lever is here. So what you do, put it parallel to the ground. Okay, right now you can see it's not balanced. So loosen up. Push it. Okay, as long as it's parallel to the ground, it's balanced. So there's basically three axes to take note. First is the row axis, second is the tilt axis, and last but not least will be your pan axis here. So once everything is done, just do a bit of micro adjustments to make sure it's balanced properly. Okay, why the need to balance is that if you don't balance it uh, properly, it will not work on uh, the vortex mode. So in order to see whether your camera is properly balanced, there's two ways to check it. First, you just position it. As long as it doesn't move too much, it is balanced. Okay, next you can turn on the gimbal. Press and hold up the side button. 
okay go on to the vortex mode which is double click to go to the go double click to go to the vortex take it a spin okay if it spins well it's balanced so now you go back to the PF mode and you click the back button here to make it back to usual so you double click on the back button there next we'll be heading back to the studio to show you how to link up your Zhaoyun Play on your phone together with the Sony RX100 Mark 5A to the Crane M2 okay so right now we're back to the studio we'll show you how to connect the RX100 Mark 5A to the Crane M2 using the Zion Play app so you just download the Zion Play app onto your phone turn it on find your Crane so this is the Crane M2 okay you found uh, green m2 so you press the connect now but before you do so make sure you turn on the green m2 so in, on the device this they'll show the green m2 you press connect it's connected then you enter again it'll ask you to select uh, device type camera or smartphone you press camera and you enter now at the same time make sure your camera is on and uh, for the camera you have to go to the menu go to the control with smartphone mode on your camera I'm not sure if you can see this go to the menu control with smartphone connection Wi-Fi standby same time go to this Wi-Fi near and search for the camera okay so it's trying to connect your device because I've connected it uh, earlier uh, I do not need to go through the process of finding the QR code uh, on the first try you can just scan the QR code on your camera uh, to the phone and it will auto connect in fact once you connect your Sony RX100 to the Crane M2 for the next time round you need not to use the Zion Play app to do the connection what you need to do is simply turn on the Crane M2 turn on the camera make sure the control with Wi5 is on and it will automatically connect for you Oh shoot, my button drop. So what happened just now was that the button here was missing from the Crane M2. It came off and dropped into the bag. As you can see, the button can be easily popped off. So do be careful when you're using the Crane M2, especially when you're outside. Make sure the button is always on before you store it after use. Okay, once it is connected, what you can do with this is that you can control the zoom of the camera on the screen and you can also record on and off on the screen itself. One click to record on video, one click to stop. You can also press the record button to take a photo but you need to exit the video mode from your camera to go to uh, the camera mode It could be aperture priority, shutter priority or just auto mode So what you do is just to double click on the red button here You do auto focus and then we'll snap a photo One of the things during the course of use is to note is that the connection sometimes can be a little bit iffy so what happens is that um, 
once the camera is connected to the Clean M2, you can use it to zoom. But for recording purposes, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. If that happens to you, what you need to do is just to switch off the Clean M2 and turn it on again and it should work. And that is how you connect the Clean M2 to the RX100 Mark 5A. Now we'll head back outdoors to check on the various shooting modes of the Clean M2 on the Sony RX100 Mark 5A. There are six modes on the Queen M2. The first off is the pen follow mode, which just follows your arm. After the pen follow mode, you click once and you have the lock mode. Lock mode ensures your screen stays to the front. So no matter how you positioned, it will still stay to the front. The lock mode is POV mode for one more click. So POV mode goes in full 360 second motion we go back to the pen follow mode and you double click it goes to the go mode go mode is a spot mode so you can twist your gimbal and the camera goes from side to whips from side to side And after go mode, you double click again, it goes to the vortex mode. So vortex mode spins your camera around. Okay, you can also go to pan follow mode and press follow. So this will follow the crane itself. Okay, click on the button here. Go back to pan follow, double click behind. And it will go back to the original position. Okay, there's also a selfie mode on the Queen M2, so you just triple click on the back button here. We'll go to the selfie mode. Okay, to exit the selfie mode, you just have to triple click it on the back button. And you'll go back to the original position. Other than shooting it uh, on a horizontal basis, you can also shoot your camera in a vertical axis. You do not need a special cage for this. What you need to do is just to, on the pan follow mode, tilt the camera. There you go. And you can start shooting on the pan follow mode. If you want a better effect for vertical shooting, we do suggest you to click it to the lock mode. So, screen will be locked wherever you shoot. Here's a video sample. Okay, to change it from uh, vertical mode to horizontal mode, simply just move up and it will be changed to the horizontal mode. Okay, we'll be showing you some video samples that we took on the pan follow mode, the lock mode, the point of view mode, the follow mode, the go mode, as well as the vortex mode.
This marks the end of the demonstration between the new Zion Crane M2 together with the Sony RX100 Mark 5A. This will probably work the same with the Sony RX100 series from Mark 1 to Mark 7. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.